Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at another awesome Megami device kit here from Kotobukiya. This is the Asian version of Ayaka Ichijo. That's Asian, not Asian. Taking a look at the box art, it's in typical Megami device Alice Gear Aegis crossover style here. You can see this is number A4.1 for the numbering for this one. And as always, a really beautiful illustration there of the character right there on the front of the box. And you got that nice matte finish for the white background compared with the glossy finish of the illustration and the text here on the front always looks nice. For our little blurb here on the front, it says Ayaka Ichijo appears in her exclusive Another Gear and Ace Suit V. Besides the new coloration, her in-game skills during Megami battles are fully recreated. Ayaka's new SP Flame Sort Flamberge boosts each action and encourages a more technical battle. She is a Megami tuned especially towards mid-level players and above. Alright, so not for beginners. Fair enough. Going on here to the side of the box, you can see this is another pretty thick box here. Going to be a lot of stuff in there. But over here on the side of the box, there's a fully built and painted sample there, front and back. Looks really cool. I really like just the design and the color scheme and everything for this. Obviously, that shield is pretty intense. So looking forward to seeing how that looks, how that goes together. You have this little extra guy here. And as cool as that shield looks, here is how the unpainted sample looks. Obviously, the shield looking a bit less impressive uh, with the, that unpainted version there, unfortunately, but we'll see just how that looks, how easy that might be to paint once we get it built up and put together. I'll have an idea of that for you guys, but here's a look at the face option parts there. So some pretty nice face options, looks like. And then our decals and stickers. So it looks like we're gonna have stickers for the shield. We'll check those out here in just a second. The list price for this coming in at 7,400 yen. Let's go ahead and get this opened up if we can. There we go. Yeah, so a lot of stuff in here. There's that shield part right off the bat. You can see it's very nicely detailed, but that's gonna be a pain to paint. We'll come back to that. Let's first take a quick look here at the manual. We got the same artwork, just a longer version of this. You can see all the way down to her feet. This version of the artwork on the back, just the logos there. On the inside, some more information about the character. That's all in Japanese there, but you got the illustration and then just some different photographs of the fully painted build. As I always say, this is really great for references for how you might want to pose the kit. You can check out some of the examples that are shown here in the manual are always a good reference for that. Next up, we get to our parts list and then right on into the construction after that. But if we fast forward all the way to the back, past the construction and all the weapons and everything like that, We've got our color and decal and the sticker sheet back here. So there's all the colors, decals. We've got a few of those, mostly for the eyes, it looks like. Maybe a couple other ones and then some stickers and all that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of everything here. There is also a code. I don't play this. I don't use this. I don't know if it's still usable, but there it is. If any of you guys do use the game, if you play it, feel free to use that. First up, here's the water slide decals. You can see there's some eyes, mouth, some blushing cheek parts, and then a couple little markings there that you can put on the kit. Those look pretty nice. And the sticker sheet, on the other hand, not quite as nice. That's pretty intense. We'll see how that looks. I'll put it on and we'll, you know, we'll see how that looks on the kit. We've got all of our hand parts here in either red or black. These are gonna be all your standard hand options, open hands, closed, hand, closed fists, expressive hands, holding hands, all those. And you do also have a set of pointing fingers and and peace sign hands as well for a little bit more expression. As for our pre-printed parts, obviously our three faces there. We've got another couple of parts there, looks like for the shoulders. Other pre-printed parts here for around on the body, it looks like. That's for the upper arms, for the stomach section probably. And a couple more here for around the hip section. And then we've got runner X in the little bag here for our holding hands. And we've just got a ton of runners with this kit. So let's get into it here. Runner A has got all of our hair parts in purple. Runner A1 is some body parts here in red and then you do also have runner A2 as well for some more of those. Runners B and B1 are going to be all of our skin tone parts here for the kit. Runner C1 is some body parts here in black. Runner D is some more joint parts here in red and then runner D1 is some parts here in like a molded silvery gunmetal type color. Very cool. Runner E is going to be our wrist joint parts. We've got those in red and black to match your red and black hands. Runner E2 is going to be an additional part here for the hair. Runner F is our typical Megami device style base parts here. In this case, it's in like a fluorescent red. Very cool color for this one. Runner F2 is in like a maroonish purplish type color here. Looks like a piece for the new sword. Runner G2 is a couple parts here in clear blue. Runner H2, a few parts there in white. Runner I2 is our clear yellow part for that sword. Looks very cool. 
Runner J is back to some more red armor pieces here. We've got two of those. And that continues on here to Runner K as well. A quite large runner with those big shield parts on there. So you can see a lot of great detail molded in, but just one big solid chunk. Runner L, some more joint pieces here in dark gray. Runner M is in a dark purple color there for some more mechanical bits. Runner N, some more connection pieces here in clear blue. Runner Q1 is some more pieces here in dark gray. Runner Q2, some more pieces in white. Runner R, some more pieces in white as well. Looks like weapons parts on there. Runner S, a few more pieces here in that dark purple. Runner T, a couple more little joint parts there in black. Runner U, once again, we've got in red and in black here for a couple more little joint parts. Runner Y here is in a metallic red for that little like assistant robot I think that she has. And lastly, Runner Z, some more joint parts here once again in red or black. All right guys, so here is the kit all built up in its base form, and that's how we're gonna take a look at this at the start, and then we'll add all its accessories and swap out its arms and legs for the more armored versions and do all that fun stuff, and we'll take a look at all the weapons and accessories. A really great kit here that comes with a ton of accessories, as you guys will see here in just a moment. This one's really nice because it feels like it has a really good balance. While it comes with a lot of stuff in its final form, as you guys will see here in just a minute, it doesn't seem like overloaded. Some of the Megami device kits, while it's great that they have a lot of stuff, they end up feeling like there's like almost too much stuff on at the end which is never a bad thing because it always gives you just more options but in this one it feels like you have a really nice amount of stuff that you don't need to load up a bunch of stuff onto the kit and it's still relatively easy to pose without having to you know move around 15 different things and adjust all this different stuff and you kind of have to work around all this stuff but on the note of accessories so of course we have her included stand which is your typical Megami device stand has the ball joint there at the bottom ball joint here at the top and a couple of options for our top attachment piece, this one, and then you have your standard angled one like that, which can be useful. And you have this blue connection piece here like that that you can use if you wanted to use that one. For some of the weapons, we've got this sword here, which is this really cool design with the shapes and the design of it and everything, but obviously it's gonna look a little bit better once you get some paint or at the very least some panel line on there just to bring out some of the details and definition of that. That one is about 10 centimeters in length. This one is longer, coming in at 14 centimeters in length. Really cool design here with this one. Again, lots of detail on the handle and then a really cool design here for the clear yellow effect part on it. We got the really cool little like kind of robot droid thing, I guess is what this is. And there's this piece which you're meant to put on the top, but you need to glue it if you want this to be on the top, sort of like a, sort of reminds me of a commander fin from like a Zaku. And it's a little bit curved like that and it's supposed to be like that. So just in case you get it and you think, oh no, it's bent or curved or whatever that's how it's supposed to be and you're meant to just glue it on there i guess if you want to but it's got some really nice details here on the bottom this back little fin you can move side to side and then of course you can plug it up onto a base to have it flying if you want to you got her set of left and right pistols and these are opposite so you can see just the only thing that's different that makes them asymmetrical is this little bit here on the top one's on the left side one's on the right side again a lot of great detail on there lacking in any sort of like color separation or anything like that but again just detail I'll paint that up. It would have been really difficult for them to make this as separate parts. They could have made maybe like this part here, like a separate bit or something like that. But the nice thing about these is that they're a single piece so that you don't have any seam lines or anything like that to worry about. A little bit of mold line, but just sand that away and you don't really need to do a whole lot of cleanup on these. And then we've got our two separate shields. These are coming in at seven centimeters and 12 centimeters in length respectively. So again, you got two different options. Again, a lot of great detail on there. And even on the backside, here as well and you can see there's a few different places that you could put the handle in there you can turn that to either the left or the right or however you might want to use that to hold on to the shield we do have the stickers for these i wanted to show you guys what this looks like first before putting the stickers on so you can see how you're gonna have to mask that if you want to paint it and once you have the stickers on here is how those are gonna look now i do have to say if you did want to opt for using the stickers, they fit like a glove and they do actually look really quite nice. Obviously it's gonna look better if you take the time to actually paint this, but that's a lot of masking. So wouldn't necessarily blame you guys if you wanted to just use these stickers. I think they look pretty good, definitely so. It also have a couple of these gold line stickers, which I guess are meant to go around on this guy like that. Kind of 
less consequential really, but if you wanna throw those on there, you can do that. Other than that, you just got all the different hands and face option parts, which we'll see on the kit here in just a moment. You've also got your couple of optional neck joint pieces here for giving you a longer neck if you need a little bit more room to move. And then connection pieces for if you wanted to put like a frame arms girl head onto here or a Figma head onto here or using this head on a Figma. But before we change up her form, I want to show you guys that you do also have all the parts here to make this accessory from the original version of this kit. It's like this big massive like robot hand here holding onto this big kind of lance gun weapon here, which is pretty cool. The instructions don't show you how to make this though, so I had to look up the instructions uh, for the original kit. It's pretty straightforward, but I'll put a scan of that on the screen there for you guys. Thanks to Dalong for that. For any of you who do get this kit and you wanna put this together and you can't figure it out, you can just refer to those instructions there on the screen. You can pause that if you need, but it's a pretty cool little weapon. Unfortunately, you don't have the effect part which kind of holds this, but I think you could probably sort out holding onto this with the included effect parts that we do have. And that is gonna be these effect parts, which hold these kind of parts, which look like kind of stereo cat ears, in my opinion. Well, this will just plug right there into the middle of her back. And that's how you can equip those. Now for the arms, swapping out to her armored form is just a matter of taking out the entire arm there, just swapping that out. It's gonna look like that. Really nice kind of armor design on there. And again, a lot of really great details. You just need to just paint that all in. And then for the legs as well, your unarmored leg compared with the armored one, I do really like this kind of extra fin detail kind of sticking off to the side here, but again, just be kind of careful with that. But a really cool design here for the legs. This one as well, just very easy. Swap it out here at the middle of the thigh. That'll just fit onto there like that. Really cool design, really love the colors and everything of this, all the shapes are really cool. And then you've got her equipment which will fit onto the side of the leg. Now this pops out like that with all those little missiles in there and these are for the left and right side. Specifically, they don't have missiles on the front and back. So this one would be like for the right leg like that so that the missiles are sticking out to the front. This just plugs right on here, right into the side of the thigh there like that. Again, lots of really sharp, thin points so just be careful with these that's a pretty cool design there i gotta say but with that let's go ahead and take a look at some example poses here with this another really great kit like i said at the start of the review portion here one reason that i really like this kit is because you get a lot of really good accessories in there which is pretty standard for the megami device line but it doesn't feel necessarily overloaded with stuff which is always really nice for these it just kind of has really good balance it has a really nice design to it i feel like the different options that you have for accessories, like having the multiple different shields in different sizes, having multiple different swords, you have the handguns, which are cool if you like using those, or you have that big weapon, which is left over from the original version of the kit, like I said, but you can build it here with your leftover parts. And then you do still have some more leftover parts in the box, nothing really worth noting necessarily, it's just kind of, there's a few leftover parts in the box, but a really awesome kit. The posability, of course, and the articulation of this is just on par with any of everything else uh, from the Megami device line. They're always really fun and quite simple and easy to pose. You can get them in any pose that you want. One thing that I have mentioned a lot in this review, which is something to take into consideration, is that there is gonna be a lot of detail painting required if you want this to look like how it's meant to look like on the box. So take that into consideration. I don't think that is necessarily unique to this kit. I mean, that's pretty much the case with a lot of kits, but it does feel like with this kit in particular, it's more so than other ones. There's a lot of really uh, little bit, little small color details around here and there um, that if you want to take the time to do that it's going to take a while and just require a lot of masking but it's going to look amazing if you do decide to do that otherwise if you just decide to just do some simple panel lining on this and throw some of those nice water slide decals on there as well i think it's going to look fantastic just doing just a little bit of work on it or if you don't decide to do any work at all you just want to have it exactly like this just put the stickers on there exactly like how i have it here it's a good looking kit like that as well so let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. I do have the original version of this kit. It's in my backlog at home, so I will try to review that one for you guys at some point as well. And then at that point, we can kind of talk about what's maybe might be some of the differences. But since this is the more recent release and probably the one that's gonna be more easy to get at this point, I feel like, I wanted to take a look at this one first, but again, it's gonna be pretty similar to what uh, the original one had. So if you like this design and you can only find the original one, I would say, you know, go for that. I don't think that there's anything between the two that would really be, you know, 
necessarily preferential. Making one version so much better than the other version, I think if you like it, go ahead and get whichever version you can get your hands on. I guess there's one thing that is sort of missing from this kit that the original kit had, and that was the effect parts, but a lot of the Megami device kits do come with the same effect parts, so if you have a few kits, it's very likely that you probably have some leftover effect parts from a different kit that you're not using that you could use on this kit if you wanted to, but that is something to keep in mind, I suppose. And if you do want to pick up this kit or check out any other kits from the Megami device line or other kits from Kotobukiya, of course you can check the link in the video description down below to USA Gundam store. We've got all that stuff there for you guys. So check that out. Thank you so much for checking out the video here today. Uh, if you'd like to like and or subscribe, that would also be greatly appreciated. Really appreciate all your guys' support. Until next time, hope you all are having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye guys.